Adage began to practice again. We were extremely busy for the first few days, but after a week or so, things calmed down. Did Glissade burn in the hellfire that he needed to burn in? I took care of the house, and we took turns cooking. My cooking was about as bad as his, but I was positive enough to convince him it was better, so I won that one. <laughs> Besides, I wanted to improve. One day, he was going to eat my cooking and like it so much that I got to make all the meals. Here, it's done. Thank you. Yep, it sucks. Look, isn't there some other way you can describe it? You don't mince words either. Just as we were about to eat, there was a knock at the door. Adage was about to stand, but I beat him to it. Outside was... Hi. What brings you to our humble abode? Is Adage in there? Sir... Soxen. It's you. I mean, is Adage in there? He's like, almost distracted, like, no wait. What do you want of me? You're a suspect in the murder of Glissade Rosalite. Come with me. Suspect? I killed him. Adage! There's no point in lying to them, and I don't regret it. I killed my father, Glissade Rosalite. Killed your father, huh? Well, you two patricidal people get along, I see. If you admit to the crime, that speeds things up. You'll be executed. Come with me. Okay. But... Don't just accept that! I killed him. That's a fact. The punishment is clear. No, it's not. Are you going to leave me behind here? I'm going. But... Adage! Oh good god, it's not over yet! I... <sighs> what? The execution was to take place in front of the Hound's building. A crowd of curious onlookers had gathered to see the public spectacle. This isn't pretty, everyone. If only I could have made a scene and stopped the execution that way. But all that would have achieved was my arrest. All I could do was watch and wait. Hey, there they are! <laughs> Adage emerged from the building. Soxen and Sir Inez were flanking him. They positioned Adage inside the gate and then walked forward. Prisoner number 8461, Adage Rosalite. You will be executed today for the murder of Glissade Rosalite. Is there anything you'd like to say in your defense? No. I, Adage Rosalite, killed my father, Glissade Rosalite. He killed many people in pursuit of his silly dreams. If you command the hounds, you must have known about it. Did you? <laughs> Glissade didn't understand the gravity of murder, but I do. If what I did is a crime, I will accept my punishment. Get on with it. As you wish. I will execute you. But... Adage... Hold on, Sox. Soxen had already raised his sword when Sir Ina spoke. Yes. We could have him work as a doctor for the hounds. What? Hire a criminal? Yes. Doctors won't come willingly to the depths. I fear medical conditions will deteriorate for us with Glissade dead. It seems prudent to me to use him instead of executing him. Still, hiring a criminal. I will vouch for him. Should he be the source of controversy, I will take responsibility. Think about this long term. Saxon thought about it. Eventually, he sheathed his sword. Good man, Inez. Thank you. 
Everyone, the show is over. Get lost. Well, that was resolved very quickly. <laughs> I looked after Soxen as he went back into the building. The people returned to their lives. One by one, they disappeared until only Adage, Sir Enos, and I were left. Adage! Oh. You came here. Of course. I flew at him and pressed myself against his chest. Oof. You have weird tastes if you came to my execution. Oh, you want to talk about weird tastes? Sir, I can write a book about you. That's not why I... This is uncomfortable for me, too. Sorry. Adage patted my head and looked at Serena's. Thank you. But why did you save me? We've talked a few times, but I wouldn't have called us best friends. You're too valuable to kill. Do I need more reasons than that? No, I guess not. Even if you told me you loved me, you lack sex appeal. It would be hard for me to respond to that. Damn, shot down. Don't worry, I don't. You probably won't like working in the building you killed your father in. It's alright. I hate my father, not the building. Oh. Serenus, I have one request. Could you hire her as well as my assistant? Assistant? Yeah. She can help me with treatment. But I guess she's also a lot of work herself. Shouldn't be a problem, right? All right. I'll tell Socks. <laughs> it's weird to be here. Serena's walked off and the two of us headed to the medical facilities. The fire damage had been repaired. Everything was back to normal. Nothing remained that told of the inferno. It was as if Glissade was merely out of the room. Wow. It really is back to how it was. Yes. It feels like Glissade could walk out from behind that curtain over there. <laughs> Just double checking. Adage walked over to it and pulled the curtain aside. W what are you doing? You weirded me out with that. I had to check. <laughs> uh, you know, I understand that. Adage closed the curtain again and looked around. Nothing has really changed since Glissade and Priscilla disappeared. His personal belongings are still here, too. He walked over to the table. Is it okay if we go through this? Of course. The owner is dead. Right. I began to go through the late doctor's belongings as well. Drugs, herbs, the usual. You had a lot more complex things, Adage. Medicine advances day by day. I kept up with the latest developments, but my father didn't. That's all there is to it, I think. I see. Sometimes I think you might be smart, Adage. Sometimes. You're an idiot. <laughs> Yes, not just sometimes. Hm? What is it? There's a locked box here. I can't find the key. Give it to me. Hm? Adage took the box and produced a slender metal key, which he inserted into the keyhole. Yeah, I figured we were going to find some kind of memento in here. There. It opened. Wow. The skills of a doctor. No, this is just a personal skill. I learned it in the orphanage. The orphanage? Yeah. We use it to get out at night. Get out at night? I can't imagine what you must have been like. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Inside was a single folded piece of paper. Adage carefully opened it. Is that... 
Aw, that's a nice picture. A picture? Yeah. It's my father, my mother, and me. They took it when I was small. Why is it here? Maybe Glissad loved you after all. Of course not, you idiot. Remember what he was like. He didn't remember, and I thought he really didn't care. Finding this here is really weird. Adage took the little box in the picture and sat down on a chair. I wanted to leave the past behind me, but it always keeps coming back to me. It's going to keep happening. I'll keep wondering what my father would do when I'm treating someone. You know. It's probably going to be painful to look at. I want you to punch me if I get too annoying. I don't want to be like that. I won't punch you. I don't rely on violence that much. But you do a little. Well... Sometimes, if it speeds things up. Anyway, as long as you are you, I'm fine with that. As long as I am me? Yes. As long as you live true to yourself, I don't mind if you indulge in self-doubt. Really? Even if it happens every day? I, I wouldn't want it to happen every day. But it's okay if you doubt yourself sometimes. Wanting to face the future doesn't mean we need to abandon the past. You are who you are because of the past. If you feel like you can't walk anymore, I will lead you on. We can walk together. You piss me off. What?! You really piss me off. You're younger. I'm the boss in our relationship. You're never going to take my hand. I'll take yours if we're walking together. That's the same thing! It's not, idiot. You think about me too much anyway. You ought to be thinking about yourself more. It keeps distracting me that you're thinking so much about me. I can't leave you alone like that. I'll make sure you love me one day. Get ready for that. That sounds wrong in a number of ways. <laughs> really? Well, that's how I am. Cyrus. I'm glad I met you. I love you. Whew. I'm dizzy. <laughs> ah, ah, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in at the end. A doubt my favorite route so far both for romance and story I, I think that was probably my favorite I mean I love Adage he's great best boyo best husband though but I feel like the ending maybe rushed a little bit I don't know there was just a lot Like, I don't really... I do and I don't understand Cyrus being upset at him at the end. Just because, like, okay, he went along with his dad and put you in a cell, but he didn't torture you and he brought you food every day and made sure you ate. Like, he didn't actually do anything else to you other than allow you to be put in a cell, which arguably... He saved you with that as well, because his dad was just going to suck the blood out of you immediately, so... But I mean, between, like, the whole Priscilla thing, Finn getting murderized, like, within two shots, running out of there without any consequences for about a week? 
it took like a week <laughs> for the house to figure out, I wonder if it was that guy that was here. Uh, they go and arrest him. There's like no interim between that and the execution. The execution's just happening. And then Enos is like, hey, you know, we need a doctor. Soxon's like, yeah, that checks out. Okay, move along. Everyone leaves. And Soxon's like, yeah, the girl I've been having an um, unhealthy obsession with and I want to, like, torture all the time, she can move in here. That's fine. <laughs> so, like, that whole bit, I'm a little like, ah. <laughs> I don't know. That could have been handled a little bit better, but... Everything else I thought was really good. It was very well told, like, very well done story. And I loved the progression in romance between Cyrus and Adage. That was all really well done. All right, Lavender's Blue. Do you have an epilogue for me? A year! Oh my gosh, a year? I think this is the biggest uh, time jump we've had yet. About a year later... Adage and I were still doctor and assistant. We hadn't gone back to acting like we were married. Okay. We were touching each other less now. Our relationship was strictly professional. This is not the progression I was hoping for. While he was working as a doctor for the Hounds, I learned he'd made a mistake treating a little girl and she had died. He was trying to atone for that by treating both the hounds and the people from the Sanctuary District. His workload was much bigger now, but he also smiled more and seemed happier. It makes me happy to see him like that. But... It seemed that we'd always be doctor and assistant. That made me sad, but I didn't have the courage to do something about it. All I can do is wait for him. All I can do is wait. He's making me wait too long. About what? Uh... You said someone's making you wait. We have no more patience, right? Uh, no. We often went for stretches without conversation, but this particular silence was awkward. What should I do? Of all the times to have no idea what to say, it had to be right when I was flustered and needed to reply. Maybe I should ask a question. Adage, how do you feel about me? I love you. I... I see. Why did you ask me that? Uh, never mind. No, no, I need to know this now. You brought this up because something is wrong. Spit it out. I... Should I really be your assistant? What do you mean? Do you want a different job? No, that's not what I... I'm talking about our relationship. Try to be more perceptive. Huh. I wish I could explain it better. I wasn't able to admit what I felt for him. It was frustrating to see myself like that. I'm good at waiting and sitting things out. I'll wait until you feel something for me as well. If you've accepted me now, then I've got a request. A request? It would depend on the request. W what is it? Well, I want you and me to be together. We can marry if you want to. Either way is fine to me, but I really want to sleep with you after reining myself in all this time. <laughs> I barely... I, like, I only read the first bit, and then by the time I realized what I was saying, oh, man. Uh, well, you have been very patient. <laughs> Look, I'll marry you if I have to, but please. <laughs> it's been too long. Oh my god. Well, Cyrus, what do you have to say to this? I guess sex before marriage isn't good, so we'll have to marry. 
I doubt you want the last name of my shitty father, so I'll take your name. That's fine with me. Well, we have no last names down here anyway. It doesn't really matter. The question is more whether you're okay with it. What do you say? Ah. Uh... What, are you going to cry? I... No. I just... This confuses me. I'm not sure what I... You were the one who brought this up, right? Well, I did, but... You're a doctor, right? You're smart, right? Can you give me a summary of what you want? Alright, I can do that. Cyrus, I want you to marry me. <laughs> There's your summary. Is that enough for your bird brain? E yes, but... I guess it's not easy to give someone an answer to that right away. That's alright. I will generously wait for you to- it, It's okay. I can answer. I held a dodge eight back. He'd been about to leave again. Not again! I... Alright. We can marry if you wish. I just couldn't say it in a more feminine way. <laughs> Girl, it's been a year. Just say you love this boy. water. I'm lightheaded. <clears throat> okay, it's... This is fine. I can, I can do this. <clears throat> with, with conviction! Are you sure? I'm serious this time. I really will fuck you this time. Uh, okay. I'm expecting that. You have to commit to things like that. Besides... Let's see, Cyrus understands the whole being committed thing, that's good. Besides... Besides? I like you, Adage. Don't think I hate you. <sighs> I managed to find peace during the last year. I'm thinking I should accept how I feel. Why aren't you saying anything? Something wrong? Of course not, you idiot. <laughs> I know, man! Look, the way you talk is not exactly... <laughs> oh, never mind. The way you talk is just really not feminine. Uh... Well, sorry. I didn't say I have a problem with that. It's part of what I love about you. They didn't think I was a particularly cute kid at the orphanage either. So I feel for you. You? Don't throw me to the same basket as yourself. I might be a tomboy, but I'm certainly cuter than you. I think. <laughs> sorry. This is what I do. I, Adage Rosalite, will make you happy, Cyrus. I hope you'll be with me forever. Adage. What do you say? Th this is so sudden. And you're being so serious about it. Don't get sidetracked. What do you say? 
I couldn't find the words, so I kissed him lightly on his cheek. This is my answer. Alright. I understand. I swear I'll devote my life to you. I love you, Cyrus. Are you really sure you wanted to give me a reply immediately? Is there something wrong with it? Not really. I'm just afraid you don't understand what you're getting into. It's alright. I, uh... Yes. I like you, Adage. At least say you love me. I, I can't say that. It's too sudden. I see. You'll need to be trained. T trained? Yes. You're my assistant. Your skill should never just languish. I I know that, but what does that have to do with this? It's closely related because it affects my mood. I can only focus on my work if you make me happy. I see. I'll expect your attitude to change. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm being cajoled. <laughs> of course you are. You have a talent of making things fun for me. Are you really complimenting me? Sure I am. I'll say it if you won't. I love you, Cyrus. Ah, Daja, you see, the trick is you gotta trick her into saying it. <laughs> That's how Elf got it out of her in the end. Oh, but they're getting married. I can't believe it took a year. Good God. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> what was that called? Sacrificing myself? That's the that's the title of that ending. Okay. Wow. <laughs> all I can say is wow. That was that was a journey. I'm um. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much deceased. Um, yeah, in summary, I love this man. Would die for him, would protect him. And, um, yeah, <laughs> good, good luck, Cyrus. <laughs> I wish you nothing but the best. <laughs> Whew, I am, yeah, I am going to go. Have a drink, I think. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> but thank you guys very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed Adage's route. It was certainly a treat. I very much enjoyed myself. <laughs> oh, and I'm glad you were able to join me. Uh, with that, we have some bad endings for Adage. I think, just like Ulrich, he doesn't have a good ending. That one ending I labeled as good for Ulrich is not really good. I think it's just a bad ending, and I'm pretty sure the same thing applies with Adage. We're just in for three bad ends, I want to say. So yeah, if you want to see how badly things could go, <laughs> you can join me for that, and we'll see what other shenanigans we're getting up to. And other than that, I guess I'm, I'm off to get my drink, so thank you guys for watching. <laughs> And until next time, I will see you later.